Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to get straight into it again. I'm just using the Garnier Micellar Water just on a cotton pad just to ensure the face is clean before priming. For primer, I'm using the NYX Pore Filler and I'm actually really enjoying this product lately. I just mainly place it on the sides of her nose, on people's forehead and on the chins because that's where I find that the most like textured areas of the face are. And then for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Golden Ivory. And I'm just, as you can see, placing that on her face and blending it all in with my damp beauty blender. Then for concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 15 Fair. I didn't actually realize that this was lighter than the light one that I usually use, but this one's amazing for people with lighter skin tones. I don't know if they recently just like came out with this shade, but it's more of a pinkier based rather than the light. I don't know if the light even is a yellowy base, but it's just perfect for my skin tone anyways. But if you are fair, then I would definitely suggest you get the 15 Fair Light. And then to set that area, I'm using the NYX Finishing HD Powder. This was the first time using it and it was okay. It didn't really have that much coverage. I don't know what this powder is really used for. I think it's just for setting the face. Um, but yeah, it did work well. It did set the under eye area like how I wanted it to. I know this next product isn't particularly drugstore, but I really wanted to try it out. It's the Iconic London Strobing Stick. And because I was going for a really glowy, luminous base, I didn't want to set the foundation or anything like that. So that's why I decided to use a cream highlighter. Although if you're not keen on buying this particular highlighter, the Benefit WhatsApp is also really, really good. And it's probably easier to get because you can only get this product online. Then taking the new Maybelline Master Contour Palette. I was so excited to try this out, um, but one of the pans was a fail, and I'll show you that later on. So I'm just using the bronzing slash contouring shade just to bronze slash contour her cheeks. I'm not sure if it's like the best contouring shade, but yeah, I did bronze her cheeks with it. Um, and then this is the highlighter. So I would not recommend this for pale skin. As you can see in this light, right now in this angle, it looks good. And you'll see in a minute when she goes straight on, it literally just looks like two brown lines. Ready? She was like, oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> so I don't know why I did this, but I just decided to apply more. And yeah, as you can see, look how dark it is. So I just wiped it off and started over. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Blushed Nudes palette also by Maybelline. I'm not too fussed on this. The pigmentation isn't the best. I like the colors. There's not enough matte crease shades. Like, I don't know. Anyways, I'm taking that dusty rose color and I'm placing that into her crease. I probably think that this palette would be like most appropriate for daytime, not so much nighttime, just because the colors just are not pigmented enough. I'm taking the light, whiter, shimmery shade and just placing that on her lid. And then I'm just blending them together just with that same crease brush. For brows, I use the new Brow Drama Pomade Crayon and I actually really enjoyed this product. I personally wouldn't just go straight from the crayon to the eyebrow because it is quite thick, so it won't give you more of like a precise, cleaner brow. So I just used it on my eyebrow brush and it did work well. The color that I used was the lighter color. I think it's taupe or something. I'll leave it in the description box down below anyways. But I love the consistency of this. It's not too pigmented, so it won't look like a blocky brow. So yeah, I really, really am enjoying this product.
Then for blush, I'm taking that same palette and just using that blush out of it. Mm, again, not that fussed about it. It wasn't as pigmented as I thought. And it does look really glowy in the pan, but it didn't really come off that glowy. So uh, I don't know if I would rate the palette. And then for mascara, I'm just using their new Push Up Mascara from Maybelline. Um, to be honest, I don't think the actual formula of the mascara really makes a difference. It's just all about the brush. And I use the same spoolie every time. It's just a silicon based one that I got from eBay. So it's not like I can really review the mascara itself without actually using the brush. And obviously I'm not going to use a brush for hygiene reasons, but I will let you guys know how I feel about the um, mascara if I end up using it myself. And then for the lips, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. It's to date one of my favorite nude glosses ever. If you don't have it, I suggest you jump on the bandwagon because it's so good and it's so cheap as well. And then to set her face, I'm using the Master Fix by Maybelline. It doesn't really smell nice, but um, it does the trick. And so this is the daytime look completed. Super wearable for just day to day, to work, to the movies, wherever. It's super glowy, natural, and I just think it looks flawless. So then to amp up the makeup look, I'm taking Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. I know this isn't particularly drugstore, but it is quite cheap. It's $6 US a pan, and it's one of my favorite shadows to date, especially for the crease area for when I'm creating a more smoky eye. Um, I just love orangey tones throughout the crease. So I couldn't find a drugstore shade similar to this one, so I just decided to use this one. And then I'm going in with the Blush Nudes palette again, and I'm taking that matte um, brown color which is on the bottom row the second one and I'm just packing that all over her lid as you can see the shadows aren't really that pigmented so that's why I wouldn't really recommend this palette if you're wanting to achieve like a dark smoky eyed look just because yeah the shades are really light most of the shades are really light and more daytime appropriate Then also taking that same matte brown eyeshadow, I'm just using that to smoke out the lower lash line. Then I'm just lining her waterline with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black. And oh my god, I didn't realize I must have accidentally like dipped my brush into the eyeliner. So I did a little bit of a boo-boo, but it can be really easily fixed. You just have to wait for it to dry. So I'm just intensifying her contour a bit more. I'm just using the same Maybelline Master Contour Kit and just, yeah, intensifying it a little bit. So if you make a mistake like this, even if it's with mascara, eyeliner, the trick is to wait for it to dry before you wipe it off because then it just flakes off really easily. And then for lashes, I'm using the Model Rock 236. Sorry, it says sold out over the um, image, but it is sold out online, unfortunately. But they said that they're getting some more stock at the end of the month, if you guys are wondering. Then I'm just going over the false lashes and the real lashes just to blend them together. Then for lips, I'm going in with the new Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Rebel Red, and I'm so impressed with these liquid lipsticks. They're so pigmented, easy to apply, not streaky at all, and they just look stunning on their lips. They don't really dry to like a very matte finish, which is what I personally would prefer. So it doesn't look flaky or like that your lips look cracked or anything. It actually looks really nice on the lips and they are quite comfortable as well. So yeah, I really do like these. Then again, spraying with the Smelly Master Fix by Maybelline. And this is the night look done. I hope you guys enjoyed this little day to night look tutorial. And if you'd like to see more like this on my channel, then let me know in the comments below. And also let me know which look out of the day and night that you would rock. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.